All right, back and um, you can, you know, of course, attack any of these any order you want, but just for the sh uh, for time's sake, I'm gonna do it in order. I usually go with unless some people go with um, uh, I go with Shield Penguin usually. I start with the Penguin because he's extremely freaking easy to beat. I mean, you can do it in any order you really want. Um, fly through this fucking game. There we go. People say, oh, Mega Man 2 was a better fucking Mega Man game, or Mega Man, whatever, you know. It's like fucking 10 Mega, original Mega Man games, if you count 9 and 10 on WiiWare, or the downloadable titles. I think they have them on PS3 and uh, Xbox 360, but they're all pretty much the same. Um, I have 9 and 10 on WiiWare, and um, probably some of the better WiiWare titles out there. Considering a lot of sh on WiiWare is exactly that shit. And then you can talk to your old creator. So you've come. You know, he talked about how he gave him the ability to choose his own path and blah blah blah. He was a fucking robot and that he would hope to allow some peace, uh, some ball, he'd be used for peaceful reasons, but now it seems you're destined to fight, blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't put, you know, I've hit in capsules like this one, so basically go around the fucking game, you get in these capsules, and they give you fucking power ups, which was something really different. Oh, for Mega Man, because the original, originally, the original Mega Man games, you didn't even get a whole lot of power-ups. And any power-ups you did have in any of them, um, they came automatic. So, and this one gives you the dash. And, you know, that, that, which is another, which is something that they did have in some of the original Mega Man games. The charge, you know, the, the charge, the... Uh, you know, your charge, you know, your, where you can charge your bust or whatever. Fucking man, it's too damn late. But, man, they had some of these abilities in Mega Man, the original Mega Man games. But they really, they really took it to a new level when it came to this one. I don't believe there's anything up here. this door and you're already at the final boss, you know, and, or, you know, the final, you know, the boss of the level or whatever. Basically, he's gonna spit fucking ice at you, like a little bitch. And as you can tell, I mean, he can drain his damn health pretty good. It doesn't take a whole lot to I mean, you, you kill this motherfucker in no time. Then he's dead. So that's one boss down. I win. And then 
then you get the um you get the ice beam the shotgun ice or whatever you want to call it you get the ice beam so you, you know you sit there and shoot freaking ice at them kind of like something out of metroid <laughs> You know, because in Metro you can throw it the ice beam or whatever and it's just free shit. Yeah. Alright, and the next one you want to do would be Spark Man Drill. Because you can freeze his bitch ass. He's an electrical freak also, and he just tends to really try to kick your ass the whole time here. one of my favorite games growing up so you know for all those people who hate on this game because it was e a little bit easier honestly I don't know I didn't really feel that it was it's only easier for me now because I beat it so many damn times but um, when I first started playing this game when I was a kid I could never beat the son of a bitch I still think it's a pretty challenging game compared to a lot of other games out there, so it might not be as frustratingly hard as some of the original Mega Man games. I think that's also why I like it better, because it just tends to be more enjoyable because you're not being completely frustrated by the game the whole damn time. Um, not that I don't mind a challenge, it's just sometimes that challenge can get a little bit crazy and it can cause you not to want to continue on playing the game reason why it's taken me so long to get through certain games in my life. For example, Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden took me forever to get fucked through because the game was hit. Ooh. Damn near took my head off right there. Go down like this. We got like a little mid boss here. You guys try to jump out of his way. or whatever. gives you more health, of course. You want to get as many of those damn things as you can, because they really do help out in the long run. Oh.
there. Now you're at the boss. Spark Mandrill. Going with the Ice Beam. He'll flash a little bit with his Christmas tree looking ass, and then... Fuck his ass up. Being his freedom right in place. I have too much fun with this guy because he can't move. Come on, bitch. He's dead. Too easy, huh? It's too damn fucking easy. Also, I think I have videos of doing this game with just the X-Buster. Where I beat the whole damn game with just using the X-Buster. I didn't even bother with any of the special items or any of that, or special weapons. You get the electric spark, you know, so now you can electrocute the ever living shit out of uh, Armored Armadillo. And here's the next one we're going to. Alright, this is where I make a new 